Welcome Cancer to your love reading for January 7th to the 13th of 2018. Uh, let's check into what's going on with you. Um, so, let's see the recent past and what's going on with you Cancer. Recent past, two cards for Cancer, recent past. One, moon, you have the moon, recent past, a lot of confusion, doubt. Um, where I feel for some of you, you might be talking to someone that could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, there's a need to enjoy yourself. There's a need to explore friendships, a relationship that might be there, especially if you have anxiety or a lot of confusion with, um, you know, hanging out, um, being around somebody a bit shy and intense. And I also feel that you could be, for some of you, dealing with someone who might be in a relationship already. Um, you know, there could be pregnancy that someone might be trying to hide. Um, it just depends there, but I feel that something is amiss. All right, and then with these two cards combined, I feel like maybe throughout the maybe last weekend um, or last week, um, the well, because I'm saying this and I might release it a bit early. I'm not sure, so um, you might still be experiencing these things. There might be the intensity there because of anxiety and confusion, but also when something is constantly coming to you through your own psychic or your intuition it's um your psyche or intuition is going to help you um understand something that you may need to know about a particular person it could be a water sign but something is off now the person coming towards you let's see what cancer that person wants to have fun whoever it might be it could be a, a leo um whoever it is it seems like they might want to hang out but let's see clarify the sun um then we got the Queen of Wands, and this is a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got some good cards. So, it's see, it's other people showing up, but that on top of that, you're not a you're not a fire sign, all right? This could be the fire sign that you're dealing with, but I also feel this other person might be wanting to have fun with you, but then another person as well for some of you out there. Um, so, if you feel something is off, it doesn't mean that you automatically rate the red flags, but this is what that's telling me in some way that there might be someone else attached to the person that you might be around, um, whether it's an ex partner or not. Um, the fire sign is showing up, which is somebody um, new. Um, so, what might be the. Uh, what might be your response to this energy? So it seems it seems like to me that some of you are um you turn <laughs> you turn your back on whoever this might be. It's like you even if they want to approach you, some of them they might not be approaching you because they're talking to someone else and they're hanging around someone else and someone else that they've been dealing with or getting to know and it's almost like you say hey something is off and i'm going to go by my intuition and i'm just going to step away from it and focus on something else a different direction the future so i feel like a lot of you might give in to work all right um with the sun being in capricorn i feel that's going to be um I bet that's your opposite sign too so it's your relationship house but also um uh, giving off energy of you know kind of taking on um, embodying the energy of Capricorn focusing on career and things like that doesn't mean every Capricorn focuses on career but that's the energy so Capricorn Virgo Taurus is showing up there um, and let's see the what might be the person what might they be wanting from you I don't know how might they be feeling for you for this week for cancer tower uh, Gemini had this too um, and this is uh, a change so it seems like some kind of it's like a big turn of events where there's a some friction or like a breakup or some kind of change just clear by the tower that comes through um, yeah it seems like you might have both of you and that's why I was getting that energy some of you may have um, been in an intense squabble with that person or something heated was there and some of you may have moved on from someone that in a new relationship or talking to someone else whether you know it or not and because they're kind of playing or not really giving you the emotional um satisfaction that you might want there's an energy of um kind of disconnecting for some with the tower being there and four cups in reverse so i feel like that person is um either feeling like you've moved on or that they've moved on and kind of a uh, uh, separated in some way because of some kind of conflict now what might be um what might they want from you for cancer? Yeah, they're, um, that person knows they're starting some stuff up or they've done something wrong. And um, that's the other person's energy surrounding them. So when the Nine of Wands is showing up, um, I get a sense of deja vu uh, right now. And it might be happening to you with that energy um, of something that's been going on, especially as you approach the new year. Um, 
it seems like I've been doing this before. I've been telling you about this. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> the Nine of Wands is showing up. That person, it seems like they're, they're ready for battle, for combat, or whatever. Um, if you were to approach them, because they know, it seems like they know that something is off. Um, and you know about it. And that was something that happened with you last year as well. I told you about that, where um, you was catching on to something. All right. And then, what might your advice be for cancer? Um, this tells you to try to do your best to stay um, um, sensitive about the situation. Don't be overly sensitive or um, kind of overly emotional about it where you flip out or you, hey, it is what it is. I feel like if you feel this way that you can usually attract someone um, like this. So it could be another earth sign, I mean another um, water sign that you might be into so pisces scorpio cancer um this is male or female person that you're thinking about or wanting to be around but it tells you to kind of be sensitive and caring and um focus on the home environment or another person um that you might want to be around that kind of makes you happy and have fun um so just disconnect from the drama and kind of let that person because it seems like they want to have fun allow them to do that um try not to take that away from them um but if you feel like hey they slighted me and you're not being honest or they kind of they're getting over in some way just be aware of that all right um now not only yeah whoever that person might be they could be um now it doesn't have to be it could be a leo and it could be a fire sign that's showing up there um but they it doesn't have to be that person bringing them it could literally be that fire sign person wanting to be around you having fun but they could still be with someone else i feel and that's why the towers coming through with the nine of wands um like almost trying to work things out with you again and they know that they've messed something up um but hey just say i get it i get it but don't fall for it okay um now let's see the uh outcome for cancer Ooh, letting it go all right trying to do your best to uh, proceed in the right direction um and that's a t that's a um, aries card but it's a major arcana and it's the energy of kind of hey it is what it is kind of thing you don't want to hold on to you know thinking about revenge and all these things allow what needs to happen to that person to kind of come through through lessons that they need to grow from all right um so let's see i'm losing my voice and trying to work it through so let's see um cancer for the 7th to the 13th I love then we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life whether this is accepting a relationship that's not the healthiest still staying there trying to work things out hey do try to work things out but that can be a detriment to your own well-being emotionally mentally there's no communication coming from this other person now it doesn't mean that it won't happen in that way but it seems like it's just a kind of nonchalant kind of thing and they're doing their um they're doing something else um now this is also addictions where there could be a lot of um drinking drugs um whatever it might be unhealthy for you that could be taken away from uh things that could kind of enhance your well-being if you were to let it go all right whether it's a person or other things all right so one more card for cancer Then we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so that's a good energy to kind of um if that person is approaching someone else or um if you're people coming towards you that want to hang out and have a good time hey that could be a friend um i noticed that in the love readings that they're not only like the romantic kind of thing it's an energy of romance where you're around other people and they want to be around your company so you could be around another fire sign um doesn't have to be in a physical way but um, try to disconnect with the fool, have fun, and I feel like you'll understand this equation as you go throughout the week. So, much love, much light to you, tons of feeling vibes. I wish you the best, and you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com, to schedule something for you. So, have a good one.